you know, both in turn. And I've met a couple of good people here who have done some good stuff in the last couple of years as well in their own good right. So just seeing all that stuff live in the marketplace gives you a lot of confidence. But like I said before, sell that property because that's what's holding me back. Even though it's a positively geared property, um, look, it's, it's taken too much time in the market for me to try and do the new deals that I need to do. Um, and I've come to a wall where I cannot put my next step forward. Um, and look, I didn't really know exactly what that was until I came here in the last three days, you know, listening to the stuff that the guys have had to say. It's made it very clearly apparent to me that that is the major blockage. So um, that's good. It's a weekend well spent, definitely. My, my main um, strong point for Diffna is there's a lot of, I, I've known a lot of um, guys who do real estate education like this in the marketplace. Diffna is, oh, all those guys that have a specific niche that they attack, whether it be positively geared or whatever the niche they attack, whereas Diffna has an array of strategies which you can then in turn tailor make to your own situation to move ahead rather than just focusing on one strategy, which is the reason why I've sort of gone ahead with her. Uh, and already from a weekend, it's proven to be at least provisionally beneficial. Money is not the most important thing for me at this stage, it's the time. You can always make money and lose money, but once the time is gone, that's it, it's the end of it. So what these guys are very good at realizing and teaching you is that, I mean, money is a very good vehicle to try and give you the freedom and the time that you need to have to do the stuff that you really love in life, you know. Um, so look, real estate is really good. It's, um, uh, it's creative, you can do a lot of things with it. Uh, obviously it's quite lucrative, it gives the options and the freedom that you want to try and move ahead and do the stuff that you really want in life and like I said, if you don't like real estate, give yourself a good knock on the head and have a look at it again, you might like it, you don't know.